Alright folks, welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and I'm about to do a reaction now for a patron of ours, Cody Anderson. Thanks very much Cody for your continued support. It is greatly appreciated and Cody has requested I Will Defend. This is Michael Monsoor's story. The link to this original video will be in the description section below as will our Patreon account. If you'd like a personalised video request and shout out please check out that and down there as well or simply join the channel as a member and get your requests through that way. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Please share because the algorithms are hammering the channel right now. Um, the views have dropped off a cliff so please share any videos that you like. It really does help the channel um, grow uh, and stay steady if you like um, and put the bell on. The bell is essential as well because it will alert you to any of our videos when we release them. If it's one that you don't fancy don't worry about it but if you don't have the bell on you will miss the video. Anyway, no more talking. Let's go! There is a picture of Mike Monsoor that circulated the news after he died. It shows Mike shrouded in a greenish yellow smoke, emerging from the chaos of combat. If you knew Mike, or if you know his story, that picture speaks for Mike. And this is what that picture says. Mikey was the prototypical Southern California kid, had a sense of style, fairly big kid, about 6'1", 210 pounds, but was just extremely quiet. He was kind of a jokester. Every time you see him, he'd have kind of like this uh, grin on his face, so you don't know whether or not he was scheming on something or if that was just his kind of, you know, Southern California laid back nature. Mike Monsoor was a new guy in uh, Task Unit Bruiser, and he was just a hard-charging guy. He was one of those guys with such a great attitude, always put out, uh, always had a, a smile. He had this kind of crooked smile on his face all the time, and uh, you could just count on him for stuff. When we first got word that we were going to be the Task Unit, TU Bruiser, we are going to deploy to Ramadi. We instantly knew, each and every one of us, that we were going to war, and this was finally our moment. Could have owned two thirds of the entire city. Task Unit Bruiser was in the thick of the fight. And for nearly six months, in almost daily dangerous and violent urban combat operations. From the second we stepped down, we were in contact with the enemy. But regardless uh, of being rattled, it didn't uh, deter the guys from putting their kit back on and getting back out there day after day. At a time when so many guys were burnt out, had, had had their fill of dangerous combat missions, Mike Monsoor was so eager to jock up in his combat gear, lock and load his big Mark, Mark 48 machine gun, and get out there with his Delta Platoon brothers and get after it. I'm just going to stop it there. From the first second they landed, it was like contact central, just poof, every day, relentless fighting. Let me tell you something, when you're deployed to these combat uh, zones uh, in Iraq, wherever, that is the sort of tour you want. That is what you want. See that um, tour, a type of tour when you're on there, uh, you're out there and nothing's happening for ages, that's where you can get complacent, that's where you can switch off, and that's when you're more likely to lose troops, in my opinion, um, is when you're in that sort of situation, because you're more... Things like suicide bombings happen to us, roadside bombs, that sort of... You just don't see that sort of thing really coming. Um, but with contacts, that's your bread and butter, that's what you're trained to do, uh, and that's what you want to do. Um, at the end of the day, they had, what, two-thirds of that area 
by hook or by crook, you were going to try and take that from them uh, and, and free that area um, of their evil regime, if you like, in that um, location. So, as I say, they've landed there, they've had contact after contact. It's actually, in a perverse sort of way, better. It is a better tour to be on. Um, and don't get me wrong, I know that this story is going to be quite a sad one. But I'm sure the guys, when they were there, the camaraderie would have been brilliant. Everybody would have been looking after each other. Everybody would have... It, it's hard to explain, but when this, the dung hits the proverbial fan, so to speak, that's when you should see the true camaraderie coming out in each and every one of them. So this was our last uh, operation for the deployment. You know, we were a week out from going home. It was myself and Mikey and two of our other fellow SEALs, and then we also had four Iraqi Jundies that were with us. We were so close to going home that when we stepped off on that final mission on September 29, 2006, we were proud of what we had accomplished. And it was a hard fought battle, but we were seeing progress. At some point, we don't know exactly, you know, how they got there or where, you know, how they were able to maneuver and sneak up on us, but uh, a grenade did end up coming over the, over the rooftop. And uh, the, the being behind Mikey, what I remember hearing was grenade. And next thing I know was the explosion. And so he made a very conscious and uh, deliberate, selfless decision. Looked uh, my direction, yelled grenade, and jumped down on it. Wow. Selfless, as he said. All I could say is that, you know, I'm alive today because of, of what Mikey did. By him going down on that grenade, you know, I now have a family, I have three kids, and I owe that all to Mikey. I would have loved to see Mikey become a father, because I know he would have been a great father and a great husband. He's the seal that we all strive to be when we're on active duty, going to war. And on behalf of a grateful nation, we will present Michael Munsour's family with the Medal of Honor. I am Michael Monsoor. I love my country, my fellow SEALs, and the men fighting alongside us. We are fighting a determined enemy, but we are strong. Our strength is our brotherhood. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines fighting together. A brotherhood bound by sweat and blood and tears. Many of our brothers have fallen, but we fight on. For the men to our left and right, we fight on. I am Michael Monsoor, and I am ready. Forged by faith and family, molded by belief and brotherhood, I have lived life to its fullest, and I have no regrets. We can't bring Mikey back, but we can live in his memory, in his image, and uh, try to be the best human beings that we can be. And it's just an honor, honor to, to have known and worked with a guy like Mike Monsoor. The moments that I did have with Mikey, I cherish every day. Um, I, talk to, I talk about him to my kids so they understand. For the United States of America, I christen thee Michael Monsoor. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her. I think if Mikey saw the ship, you know, it's cutting edge advanced technology. And I think, like I say, with Mikey in the platoon, he was always at the front, you know, leading the way, and the, the way the ship is designed, is it's, it's going to be leading the way in the future. Wow, look at that. There is no way that a steel and iron ship can ever replace the flesh and blood that was Michael Monsoor. 
but it seems there can be no more fitting memorial to him than a warship. A warship that proudly bears his name. And in this ship, and in its crew, Mike's spirit will live on. Through this ship, Michael Monsoor will still represent the very best our country has to offer. He will inspire the crew, just as he inspired his teammates. And just as Michael Monsoor did, the USS Michael Monsoor will go forward, willingly, into harm's way, and will stand tall without hesitation or regrets and face down evil and malevolence, saying boldly to the world, I will defend. That is Michael Mansoor. Wow, what an incredible memorial and thing to do from the US Navy for an incredible human being and SEAL. As a SEAL teammate said, um, oh, it's the purest act of selflessness, isn't it? What he's done, uh, didn't hesitate, grenade came over the top. He knew what that meant. He did it anyway. And he saved his fellow SEAL mates. Uh, wow. Act of Valor, you're goddamn right it is. Um, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Um, for the men that are still with us because of him, that must be hard. Um, there's never a day you're going to take for granted what he's done. Um, I, and I also am aware of the guilt that a lot of veterans feel because of things like that. Um, but I would say to them, don't be, um, that's not the sort of thing he'd ever want you to feel um, for surviving. He did that so you could survive, um, that's just what he was. There's, I can't explain um, how somebody goes about doing an act like that other than the fact that they're heroes at the end of the day. They're heroes. They've gave their lives for other people to live theirs. <sighs> wow. Powerful. Oh, my word. Um, on terms of the tour that they experienced, I, 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 I still echo what I said at the start. That's the sort of tour you want. You, you want to do what you're trained to do and feel like you're doing something important. Um, and Boy, they must have fought bravely for months till they nearly went home. That grenades went over the top. As I said, they're not sure how uh, they've managed to get down near, but they got down near close enough to be able to throw that grenade over the top onto the roof and behind the position. Uh, and Mike, he was aware of what's happened and he was aware of what was going to happen. And he paid the ultimate sacrifice and that was to give his own life for his own, um, his fellow SEALs. I'm lost for words, I just think the guy, an incredible seal, incredible warrior, incredible human being, um, silent uh, sort of giant, lovable giant, you know, just has that f positive vibe about life, nothing seems to really faze him by the sounds of it, um, and I just wish for his family's sake that he, that he could have went to live on to be an old man. Age isn't something, uh, a, a pleasure granted to many, and in his case, he, he, um, he paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, and gave up his future for others. I just, I'm just blown away. The Medal of Honour is the least you can do for a man like that. It's, it's, a, it's a bittersweet moment for his family at the White House, of course, very, very proud of their son, what he's done. Um, 
and I, I'm sure that they have a relationship with his, uh, the SEAL team that he saved. Of course, one of them said he's went on, had children, family, and he wouldn't have been able to do that without Mike, Mike's uh, bravery and selfless act of valor. Um, oh, wow. Um, but as I say, it's bittersweet for the family. Very, very proud, but very, very sad indeed. Very emotional time for them. Um, because their son is no longer with them or their, their brother or whoever he was directly to the people there that were at that um, service. But the memorial then, having a, a ship named after them that will live on, cutting edge technology um, went into that. Look at that thing, it looked incredible. I'm not even too sure what that kind of class that is, but it's an incredible piece of equipment. Um, indeed, the incredible ship. And I think that was possibly his mother that... Um, that broke the champagne over it. Um, oh, I'm not too sure, but it did sound sort of like it was a woman, but I hope it was his mother. That would be an incredible thing to be able to, for her to be able to do uh, and her son's name live on within the US Navy to this day. And I'm sure they're proud of what he did for his fellow um, team and his country. Um, I'm going away, I, I really am. It's hard, to, it's hard to talk after watching something like that. You do get emotional watching it. Um, but uh, all I can say now is, Mike, you're gone, but you're not forgotten. Uh, may you rest easy, brother. Um, God bless you. Thanks very much. The link to the original video is in the description section below. Thanks very much for the request, Cody. That hit me hard there, um, as I'm sure it will do others. Um, and if you'd like a personalised video request and share it, do check out our Patreon account in the description section below on how you can get your requests through or simply join the channel as a member. Um, you can do it also there. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on. Thanks very much um, for watching this video and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.